God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Firmly I believe, and truly, God is three, and God is one, and I next acknowledge duly manhood taken by the Son, and I trust and hope most fully in that manhood crucified, and each thought and deed unruly do to death as he has died. Simply to his grace and holy light and life and strength belong. And I love supremely, solely, him the holy, him the strong. Adoration I be given with and through the angelic host. To the God of earth and heaven, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Lord, you will be pleased with the lawful sacrifice offered on your altar. Have mercy, me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion, blot out my offence. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offences truly I know them, my sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned, what is evil in your sight I have done that you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring at your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt off and from me would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humble contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favour to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocausts offered on your altar. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord. 
to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Lord, you will be pleased with the lawful sacrifice offered on your altar. All the descendants of Israel shall glory in victory through the Lord. Truly God of Israel, the Saviour, you are a God who lies hidden. They will be put to shame and disgraced, all who resist you. They will take themselves off in dismay, the makers of idols. But Israel is saved by the Lord, saved forevermore. You will never be ashamed or disgraced through endless ages. For this is the word of the Lord, the creator of heaven, the God who made earth and shaped it, he who made it firm. He did not create it in vain, he made it to be lived in. I am the Lord, there is no other. I have not spoken in secret in some dark place. I have not said to Jacob's sons, search for me in vain. I am the Lord, I speak the truth. I proclaim what is right. Assemble all of you, draw near, you who have escaped from the nations. They know nothing, who carry around their idols made of wood, and keep on praying to a God that cannot save them. State your case and bring your proofs. Consult among yourselves, who proclaimed this beforehand, who foretold it long ago. Was it not I, the Lord? There is no God but me, a God of justice, a saviour. There is none but me. Turn to me and be saved, all the ends of the earth, for I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear it. It is truth that goes forth from my mouth, a word beyond recall. To me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. They will say, in the Lord alone are victory and power, and to him will come in dismay all who have resisted. Through the Lord will come victory and glory for all Israel's sons. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All the descendants of Israel shall glory in victory through the Lord. Come before the Lord, singing for joy. Cry with joy to the Lord of the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made as we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord. Eternal is merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Come before the Lord, singing for joy. Do not use harmful words in talking. Use only helpful words, the kind that build up and provide what is needed, so that what you say will do good to those who hear you. And do not make God's Holy Spirit sad, for the Spirit is God's mark of ownership on you, a guarantee that the day will come when God will set you free. Get rid of all bitterness, passion and anger. No more shouting or insults. No more hateful feelings of any sort. Instead be kind and tender-hearted to one another and forgive one another as God has forgiven you in Christ. 
In the morning let me know your love. In the morning let me know your love. Make me know the way I should walk. In the morning let me know your love. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the morning let me know your love. The Lord has visited his people. He has come to redeem them. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of all, a Saviour who would praise from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father, to grant us that free from fear, and save from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people the salvation through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. The Lord has visited his people. He has come to redeem them. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you. Through your cross and resurrection, you offer freedom and hope to those ready to receive them. Lord, show us your loving kindness. We are children of the day. Help us to live in the light of your presence. Lord, show us your loving kindness. Guide our thoughts, our words, our actions, so that what we do today may be pleasing to you. Lord, show us your loving kindness. Help us to avoid wrongdoing. Show us your mercy and love. Lord, show us your loving kindness. Through your passion and death, you have won life for us. Give us the strength of your Holy Spirit. Lord, show us your loving kindness at the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching. We dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those 
who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord God, you hold out the light of your word to those who do not know you. Strengthen in our hearts the faith you have given us, so that no trials may quench the fire your spirit has kindled within us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life.